Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Elisabetta, your friend with a passion for watercolor supplies. And today I have a little art haul to share with you. And it is two sets, two retro sets from Schminke. You know that Schminke just put on the market a vintage collection that is exactly the same in the same style uh, with the old logo of some old catalogs that they have found. I had bought uh, one set uh, which consists of six tubes and the Momarte, the large uh, online store here in Italy that I invite you to visit in the link uh, in the description box because they have uh, incredible prices and always uh, very interesting sales. They sent me this uh, eight pants uh, travel set and uh, they did it because they believe in my channel and uh, they are supporting me in developing my channel. So thank you very much, Momarte. The colors are all in the standard range, but uh, there is one new color actually that is a real historic color and it is cochineal. And I'm also comparing this new color cochineal with the um, cochineal made by De La Magna. I have a small art haul from uh, De La Magna as well. So today I am just unboxing these three and uh, comparing uh, the two cochineals. And in the next videos, I will swatch these two sets. <music> unboxing. This is the set uh, travel set which is absolutely adorable. You know that uh, the tin cases by Schminke are always uh, a fantastic quality. There are eight colors. Let me just take one out. Okay. Oop. This is meant to keep them in place. And uh, there are eight uh, half pans. They are all uh, available also in the current range, but the packaging is exactly identical to the old packaging. And these eight colors are chrome, uh, chrome yellow hue lemon light yellow ochre, raw amber, that if I'm not wrong in Schminke is quite yellowish, so maybe could have picked a different color, English Venetian red, in any case uh, for my style, uh, three earth colors are perfect, vermilion, ultramarine finest, Viridian and Paints Grey, not the bluish Paints Grey. This is the Schminke Paints Grey, which is more, which is closer to neutral tint. So these are the eight colors in my next video. I will swatch them and make a mixing chart. Okay, so I put them away. Paste is absolutely wonderful. And then we have uh, these six tubes. The case is exactly the one that they always use, but with a different logo. This is the one that uh, they use uh, today. So you see, it's exactly the same, but with this historic logo, whereas this is the contemporary logo. And there is this... Uh, Beautiful. I wonder if we have oh, yeah. Also in the in the travel pan, I didn't realize that there is a ticket from uh, Mr. Hordam thanking for 
being a part of our history. In, in German, danke, dass Sie Zeit uh, unseren Geschichte sind. Which is exactly the same phrase. Mr. Horadam that uh, created these uh, watercolors, beautiful watercolors, and a uh, swatch card. And uh, for the tubes, same thing, swatch card. And uh, there are six pens, so I can pour them uh, in the pens, and there is uh, space for... Um, no, I think that uh, that's all. I cannot... Uh, I cannot put other pens because uh, this is for the tubes, but I can replace these tubes with the current range because all these colors exist in the current range except for this uh, very interesting cochineal, cochineal red, cochineal red, uh, which is uh, a historic pigment, is NR4 semicolon 1. The other colors are cadmium yellow deep, cobalt blue light, cobalt green pure, raw amber, which is in common with the other set, and sepia brown red dish, which is great, first of all, because um, I only have, I think, the raw amber in my current collection, so they're all new for me. And I love sepia when it's warm, so I'm so happy of this, um, of this small um, set. There are uh, the primary colors, a green, an earth color, and a dark. So I can make all the possible color. Now the cochineal, I don't think it's last fast. It's fugitive, it's transparent. Once it was made by cochineal, uh, it's an insect, it's a bug. Still made uh, from the cochineal because an NR means natural red for semicolon one. I'm not sure what semicolon one is, but if I find the information, I will let you know in my next videos. And then I have this uh, wonderful little pack from the La Magna. You know that I just love these watercolors. It's always such a shame to open these beautiful, wonderful small packets. And I have uh, Caput Mortum natural lime on it just uh, to increase my collection cobalt cerulean and uh, genuine cochineal carmine and r4 so i think that today we can compare the two cochineals it's a carmine and find out uh, about this uh, very interesting color now, it's important to know that uh, the cochineal is also sold uh, open stock, uh, a bigger tube, I think 15 milliliters. So if you're interested in this color, you don't have to buy the whole set, although the whole set is beautiful. But you can buy just the tube by itself. It comes in a very pretty box. You see that the label is absolutely different from the current range. They have all the necessary contemporary information. So the pigment, uh, Künstler Farbe, artist uh, watercolor. Let's compare it with the contemporary. So this is a contemporary tube. You see that uh, the font Aquarel Horadam is different. Can you see? The logo is different, the information are the same, the number is 337, the code, the information about uh, transparency, and uh, the back, uh, I would say, is uh, uses different uh, fonts, but absolutely the same information. So, caution about the possible toxic uh, elements. 
E this is the cochineal carmine by De La Magna, genuine. It's always wonderful to open this, uh, to open these uh, pants. I have bought the full pants because it's a very interesting color. I, I'm a fan of full pants. They like, um, here in Turin, we have this famous chocolate, Gianduiotti, and uh, they're wrapped in gold and they look exactly like Gianduiotti. Okay, let's compare them. Okay, so we can start with the Schminke. Bear in mind that this is a fugitive color, but I haven't, uh, I haven't tried uh, myself, so I'm telling you what I have read. I don't know how fugitive it really is. It is renowned for having very poor light fastness. Schminke rates cochineal red as uh, fair, as uh, light fastness, whereas uh, Luca from De La Magna told me that actually it doesn't really fade, but it turns from uh, uh, magenta nuance to more reddish but um, let's see the color <gasps> wow it's a cool red it's really beautiful wow so tinting wow really strong it's wonderful it looks like a quinacridone color so beautiful that it uh, looks like a quinacridone color but quinacridone colors are very light fast so this is schminke and i can tell you it's wonderful absolutely wonderful and this is uh, De La Magna. You know that uh, natural colors don't re-wet very easily, but this <laughs> has re-wetted immediately. Here's the hair. Living in a house with uh, two dogs and three cats. Uh, hair are always uh, very hard to get rid of but let's concentrate on the color I find it very very similar actually so this uh, cool uh, red almost a pink I find it wonderful of course we need to let the um, this color dry. Before we draw our final conclusions. I'm not a super fan of light fastness. I mean, it's very important to know if a color is light fast, but you know, the old masters used cochineal and uh, it's part of the beauty of uh, art that it change, uh, changes over time. And um, it's so fascinating to use the historic pigments. I don't know, for me, it's very, it's really an emotion. So I appreciate the opportunity of trying uh, historic colors, but that's okay. I will let those dry. In the meantime, why not try a sketch maybe? I don't know, a cherry? Why not? For the cherries, I'm using uh, this uh, sample that I was given at Fabriano last April, and it is uh, cold press. I will use the La Magna because of Schminke Cochineal, I will use uh, next time. And I will use my De La Magna set. Cochineal from Schminke next time, but today I'm using the Cochineal by De La Magna. Let's do some cherries. 
I'm not prepared, so it's my advanced swatching. Okay, I will uh, go as usual a bit from my imagination. For me, cherries are like uh, small apples. <laughs> when I was a little girl, I used to imagine they were mini apples. You know that. <laughs> Children like uh, to play, I think in English it's called make pretend. Far finta in Italian. Okay, let's go with these cherries. I will speed it up now. I can't resist uh, and I have decided I'm painting a cherry with my red cochineal by Schmincke. Now they are both uh, dry. I laid a second layer of uh, the Lamagna cochineal and here there was a cauliflower and I got rid of the cauliflower and I can tell you, you can rework it so easily. It was fantastic. I'm afraid my camera did not capture it. It was, I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. But at the end of the day, I can say that they're very similar. I think that they use exactly the same pigment, which is, um, from the 
little insect cutting in. Too bad it's not light fast because uh, it's wonderful. It even when it's dry, it um, it has a glow that uh, it's rare to find in contemporary colors. Only in quinacridones, but quinacridones they were invented for cars. This uh, thinking that the old masters used these colors uh, is such an emotion for me. And they both wonderful. It's very difficult for me to declare a winner. So they're both very, very beautiful. Um, this has all the charm of handmade, but these maybe it's easier to find. But um, it was a very good feeling to paint with this. So I would, um, it's an experience that I would recommend. I know it's not light fast, but put it in a perspective. If you don't need a light fast color because you know to sell that piece of artwork, I, I would have a go. So happy I have it. Let's go to the advanced swatching to the sketch. Obviously, I didn't resist uh, and uh, I made a cherry with the schminke as well. So this is schminke. And I used uh, for schminke, I mixed it with my vintage, uh, vintage set that I have already reviewed in the past, a beautiful set. So this is schminke and these three cherries are the Lamagna, of course, I use different colors to mix, so the result is different. But uh, what can I say? It's a great color. I, I enjoyed so much painting with it. It's so pigmented, both of them, both of them. It's so transparent, it's so performing. It's easy to sketch, even such a quick sketch, really, almost brutal if you have the right material the right paper the right brush the right colors I mean you can have a decent uh, sketch the process you can really enjoy the process let me just uh, correct it here I didn't let this dry enough Um, it was really, really enjoyable. If you use the right material, painting becomes so much easier. And uh, I think that's true for sports as well. For instance, if you have a good uh, tennis racket, it's easier to play tennis. Same thing. If you have the good supplies, it's easier to paint. And um, just not talking about the result, that it is what it is, it's just an advanced scorching. I can tell you it's so enjoyable. So I'm so happy I had a go. So next, uh, in my next videos, I will um, swatch, mix and make a sketch with the other two sets. This uh, small uh, jewel set that uh, was given to me by Momarte. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Momarte. Such a fascinating box. In the second video, I don't like videos that are too long, I will, uh, I will review, swatch and make a sketch with the, the six tubes, including cochineal. So, for the moment being, that's all. Thanks for having watched this with me. And uh, great color, cochineal. Really emotion. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Ciao from Elisabetta.